Hey everyone, how's it going? Dark Shigong, gaming on the dark side. <sighs> Three lightning strikes in a row, it seems like, guys. But anyways, gotta do the video. This is gonna be episode number eight of our Can I Do This event for free. Now, I'll go deeper into it in my follow-up video to this when we actually do the full event overview, but I do have to address the elephant in the room, the lack of 4K gems in the Alliance rewards is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, and that was the third lightning strike for me right there. So I'm a little upset, but the event is here. And I want to make sure that if you're going to do it, you're doing it smart and you're utilizing your saved up stuff correctly. So the event starts the 25th, it's gonna go all the way through March 1st, guys. This is gonna be for Live Spark with this brand new synergy and brand new relic, brand new prestige skills. Um, there's already videos about him out there doing his thing. So, are you gonna get him? Now, real quickly, guys, like all of my videos here when we talk about the cost, we do not factor in the Portal Stone refresh. We do not factor in the Portal Stone reward drops since I have no idea how many you're gonna get of those. And I do utilize a 30 second ping pong attack turnaround so if it takes longer than 30 seconds for you to go from attack to attack well then my guesstimates will be a little bit off for you but that's what the big thing is here these are guesstimations use them as basically like a, a minimum right we're going to be doing this and um, this is how many attacks it's going to take and about how long it's going to take and then you just kind of adjust from there and with that out of the way, it's time to get to the tables here. So for pure grind, that's not using any relics whatsoever. With a 1.4 boost Titan, you're looking at about 1,786 battles. That's gonna cost you a little over 5,100 portal stones to get that done. Now, if you need gems to get those portal stones, you don't have those, it's gonna take you about 27,000 gems. So if you got that saved up, you're good to go. It's gonna take you about 15 hours though to grind that out if you've got some great ping pong partners and can run that 30 second um, turnaround time. Now double that if you're taking a minute between attacks. Now, like pretty much every time I talk about this, there is always the minimum you gotta hit if you're not gonna finish the event. That's 2,000 souls in this event. That will get you three event tokens that you can utilize for later. Maybe you're saving up for the Valkyrie event coming up in the near future and those tokens will come in handy so to grind out those 2,000 souls you're looking at 143 battles that's going to take 379 portal stones utilizing the 50 i think you get for free in the event hitting that mark and that's going to be about 1954 gems it's going to take about an hour or so to get that grinded out you can do that over the course of the entire weekend and bring down the cost of gems by utilizing the portal re fresh rate um it won't be completely free but it'll be way less than anything you would have gotten for three tokens and like i said that valkyrie event is going to shape up to be a big one so hey if you're saving up do it now if you're going to use the six event tokens that are included in this event we're going to use the working theory that luck is going to be horrible and you'll be struck by lightning and get nothing but one star relics if that's the case, um, then it's gonna take you 1,634 battles, right? It's gonna take 4,600 portal stones and a little over 24,000 gems to get those stones to get this event done. You'll have an hour or so shaved off of that grind time of doing a pure grind. So you're looking at 13 hours and 38 minutes. Still pretty darn painful. So let's hope your luck isn't that bad. Now. I'm hoping that your luck is better than a one star. And if that's the case, I do have this handy little table here that shows you what you can expect to get um, with the souls per relic with a one star, two star, three star, and four star relics. Now these are unstacked. If you stack your relics, the soul counts per battle will change a bit because you won't be getting the original 14 um, souls for each of the stacked relics. If you want more detail on that, go ahead and click on the link popping up above. It's an old video I did. I'll have to redo it eventually because there's some more information I want to add into it and kind of clarify things. But basically, it kind of goes into what I call the stack tax about how you lose souls by stacking. You will regain them if you keep grinding, but 
that's up to you. There's a lot of other little factors go into it. Moving past that point, let's look at the worst case scenario possible. No matter what you do, no matter what dances you do, no matter what offerings you offer to the devs, you get nothing but one star rolls all weekend long. Well, in that case, it's going to take you 50 relics. You'll have to have 50 saved relics sitting around, um, uh, tokens, I should say, and or you have to buy 50 of them. That's just horrible. Now, you include the six that are in there. Oops, I made a mistake. It says five, but it's, it's six. It'd be 56 relics total to finish this event. That is crazy. Granted, that'll only take you 439 battles but and three hours and 40 minutes to do, but Come on, guys, if, if you're if once, I mean, seriously, if you hit 10 rolls in a row at one star, just stop, stop, you know, just stop, put the phone down, put your iPad down, your, your you know, whatever, man, and walk away, walk away. All right, guys, don't do it. Just don't do it. And also, hopefully your luck won't be that bad, but I do like showing the worst case scenario possible because then at least you go into it with your eyes open knowing how much you should have saved up if you want to finish an event, especially a 25,000 soul event. It takes quite a bit to save up. And that, really quickly, I know I'm gonna talk about it in my other video, but I gotta say it, guys. That is one of the reasons why I'm upset about the 4,000 gems not being included in the Alliance rewards. Um, those gems go a long way. As you can see, it takes a lot of saved up gems to be able to buy the portal stones needed. Even if you have relics, you still gotta buy portal stones to be able to do all those battles and get the event done in a timely manner. You know, those gems go a long way. So, come on, devs. I'm not too sure if you listened all the way through this little video, it's only about 10 minutes or so, but if you are, man, put those back in. It's a small thing. The big time players that are spending money are never in that realm anyways. They're always getting the extra Titan. So it's not gonna hurt them. You know, put it in there for us guys. Um, or at least give us the choice between a uh, poison or token or all elemental token or gems. That way players that do want prestige food that are free to play, they can get their prestige food. And the players that want gems so they can keep playing the game on the cheap can get their gems. Anyways guys, that's the video for this. I'm gonna work now on the actual event overview. If you're interested in seeing that, well, hey, just check out my channel. It'll be there in a little bit. Um, until then, this is Dar Shigong, and I hope to catch all you guys gaming on the dark side.